What's up, everybody? Today, we've got a really fun video because we're going to be talking to you about the Bastion XL, which is a product from Gamegenic. And uh, we're going to be opening the special edition today. I'm going to be talking all about who I think this product is for. We're going to be talking about the functionality of the product. And the main thing you need to know about this product is it is designed for the extra thick inner sleeves. So I've done my due diligence. I've sleeved up an entire commander deck in inner sleeves that are extra thick. We're going to talk about everything that you need in this video. Shout out to Gamegenic. Thank you for sending these. And it's time to dive into the Bastion 100 Plus XL from Gamegenic. Shout out to our patrons. Our patrons are the best of that there is no test though some have lots of chest hair it's their back hair that is best thanks to our patrons we have these three deck boxes here but in this video we're going to be talking about this one which is the special edition it looks like these ones are all a solid color this is the red it's got like a solid color you got the yellow here and it's all solid and it looks like the difference here is that the special edition has like a black and clear these are designed for extra thick inner sleeves in this video just so you know so you know everything that we're going to be using we're going to be using the kmc perfect hard if you've ever heard of these sleeves and you don't know what they are i'm going to talk a little bit about these and then we're also going to be referencing the kmc perfect size which are typical inner sleeves that you probably know and recognize and use a lot. One thing about our channel is we play a lot of Commander over here. We cover a lot of MTG kind of like finance stuff. So we are always interested in fun new products. Shout out to Dragon Shield as well, because we are going to be sleeving our perfect hard inner sleeves in Dragon Shields. Now, I'm not going to do all of that on camera because it just takes so much time i was actually listening to like mistborn while i was sleeving it takes a very long time especially when you decide to commit to sleeving your entire deck in perfect hard sleeves because they are thick it takes a lot of extra time it took me about 30 to 45 minutes to sleeve an entire 100 card commander deck in perfect hard sleeves and then put them sleeved into dragon shields. We are discussing an awesome product from Gamegenic today. Thank you again to Gamegenic for sending these to us. We aren't sponsored by Gamegenic, but we're just highlighting this cool product. So if you're looking for a neat new deck box, this might be the deck box for you. Let's go ahead and read on the back here what is actually going on so that you can know what this deck box is about. The capacity of this, you have 100 plus double sleeved cards and extra thick inner sleeves. Again, we're gonna get to that. Or 110 plus double sleeved cards and closable inner sleeves. You would recognize those as like those sleeves that kind of like fold over and they protect the cards on both sides. And then it also holds 120 plus regular double sleeved cards, which is essentially like your KMC perfect size sleeves that I already talked about. And then 140 plus single sleeved cards. So this thing just has like a massive amount of space is, is kind of the vibe here. Or 250 plus unsleeved cards. So that's a lot of Magic the Gathering cards that you can just dump into this deck box. Maybe you're playing an event and you're just like, you know what? I need something durable that I can throw all of my cards into. And then it converts into a card pile holder, which is going to be really important because we're going to talk about that later in the video. And then you have the commander top card fully visible, which is which is pretty sweet. If you have a lot of commander decks and you're just kind of throwing stuff into boxes, you might have to start opening them up to figure out what the commander is. Well, not with this deck box it's actually clear and you can look through and you can see the commander so that's pretty sweet and then it has a bunch of other options it holds up to 14 slide card cases or 14 mini snap cases or five of the cube pockets and it's ideal as a dungeon add-on which is another product from gamegenic one thing that you might not know about me which is kind of funny is i have a bunch of gamegenic binders this is what my lgs carries and so i've been using their binders for a while and I just have, uh, these do the trick, they're great. Sometimes I find like the elastic on them is a little bit tight. And so I don't like for the elastic to pull on the sides of my cards. And so I don't really like use the elastic fold over that these have, but I do have a ton of cards that are s sleeved up in Gamegenic binders because that is what my local game store carries and they're great products. So let's go ahead and crack on into this special edition Bastion XL. And you know what? Someone come find me on Discord, because if you find me on Discord, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I, I'll give you a clue. 
there's a link to our Discord in the description of the video. If you find me in the Discord, send me a, a private message, and the first person to send me a private message is going to get one of these other deck boxes. I'm going to go ahead and keep this special edition one just because I took so much time to sleeve up this entire commander deck. Yeah, let's go ahead and crack on into it. And then we're gonna just do a review of the product once it's in hand. This also comes with a write on sticker. Nice packaging. We're gonna take a look at the actual product itself. Let's get it out of there. Get out of there, my friend. Okay, cool. Oh yeah. So this is nice and durable. Fun little case here. So this is where you would put your commander on the end. Box is pretty sweet. Oh yeah. Just easily snaps open. There's the write on sticker that they were talking about. Nice and durable. I mean, like, this is solid. This feels nice and solid. Cool. And then it just snaps, snaps right on there. There's a couple things here that we need to highlight that we were talking about just a moment ago. Let's bring over two commander decks so you can kind of see how this product works and where it's really gonna thrive and if it's a product for you. Brought this over, I want you to just see the size difference. This is also a pretty thick deck box. You do see the Bastion XL has a little bit of a, um, is a little bit longer than this. That's what she said. But here is my Carador deck. You can see, same size as this orange deck box. This is double sleeved. But these are, like I said earlier, these are KMC perfect size sleeves. That's the difference here is that these are, these are double sleeved, but what's inside are KMC perfect size. And what we're going to be talking about here with the Bastion XL are the perfect hard. But for the sake of this, just so you can see kind of where this deck lines up, lots of room left over in there. Got the whole deck in there and plenty of room. This is how it would look once it's closed up. And say my commander were buried alive, you would just be able to see my commander in there. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Now, the other thing that's pretty awesome about this is when we snap this back off here. This is one of the big things about this deck is it becomes a holder for your deck, which I think is a massive, massive selling point here, especially when we talk about what we're about to talk about, which is when you decide to sleeve your commander deck in <laughs> thick inner sleeves. A hundred card deck compared to what we're about to sleeve up or what we're about to put in the deck box. One of the first things you're gonna notice when you sleeve your deck up in perfect hard sleeves is it's gonna go all over the place. Like you can see, it's just falling over. And you might be like, who is gonna sleeve their deck up in sleeves that are so, I mean, these are just, it's honestly particularly difficult when you very first sleeve a deck in perfect hards. And I'm gonna talk about who would sleeve their deck in perfect hard sleeves. There's my, there's my commander Urza. So I recently got this deck at MTG Summit. Shout out to MTG Summit. That was a good time. Almost got it under control. This is how thick a deck is when it is sleeved with perfect hard sleeves. Comparatively, this is a 100 card deck right here. Thick inner sleeves, you have normal inner sleeves on the right here. When this deck stands up like this and you put it up, you could be like drawing and then you just accidentally topple it and it just falls over. It's just that, it's just that tall. It's how big this is. You might be like, there we go. There we go. Knocking it over. You might be like, who's going to sleeve their deck in thick inner sleeves? And I'll talk about that for a second. Here's an old Eater of Days foil. And this is from a janky modern deck. And I play Topper Orb and uh, effects like that, like Hushbringer. It denies the uh, ETB effects of this card. So instead of me losing my next two turns, I just get a 9-8 with Flying and Trample. You might have an old card like this, an old foil that's kind of unruly. You might have cards that are signed by artists. You might have uh, a deck that's filled with a lot of older foils. Old foils, they sometimes have like just this natural bend to them, but you want them to be reined in as possible. When you're trying to sleeve an old foil like this, a typical perfect size sleeve might not do the trick. So you might want to go with something like a perfect hard sleeve. It makes the card perform better in the sleeve makes the deck a lot thicker. Everything needs to be sleeved like this. One thing you do need to know about perfect hard sleeves is if you move a card from a commander deck into a different deck, 
you need to remember what cards are in perfect hard sleeves because they will look like a marked card in a different deck it's just naturally thicker so as far as who wants to use the thick inner sleeves it might be people that are trying to protect very expensive old cards or maybe people that are just trying to eliminate the bend in some old foils maybe you're using the deck a lot and you're playing a lot of games and you're riffle shuffling and you just want to protect the cards as much as possible some people might elect to use the thick inner sleeves now let's go ahead and use the main selling point of the bastion 100 plus xl which is once you sleeve this bad boy up and you don't want to be knocking it over you just plop it right in here and so yes you will have to sleeve the deck you will have to shuffle it but each time you shuffle put it back in the deck box and then you can use it like this is pretty sweet man i like this this is really neat and it goes all the way down to the last card as they advertise on their box pretty sweet deck box let's go ahead and put everything in here we'll put urza in there as well now if you have extra tokens or something like that those are probably not going to fit in here this thing is pretty much tapped out but as we noted earlier there's a lot of different ways that you can utilize this deck box it holds up to 250 cards unsleeved this is a massive massive deck box this is the first deck box i found that really effectively holds the yeah, i mean aside from having like a big long drawn out like trough for cards this is the first deck box i've seen that really is good for the thick inner sleeves and then it advertises your commander there perfectly on the outside pretty fun product here from gamegenic if you're interested in it's, it, it is nice and durable as well thank you to gamegenic as well because they've waited a while for us to get this video done they probably had the ball rolling on sending us these deck boxes over a month ago but we've been so busy with some other stuff we uh we were out of town for a convention and then we are also getting back into the swing of things just being back for the past week big thanks to them for their patience and also thank you for sending us a really quality product that's pretty freaking awesome man i like the design of this it looks sleek and again if one of you want to get either this red or yellow deck box reach out to me go to the description find me on discord and if you send me a message on discord i'll make sure one of the lucky viewers of this video gets one of these deck boxes first come first serve come find me thank you so much again to gamegenic and i hope you enjoyed this video this is a fun one and <laughs> since i went through all of the trouble of double sleeving this commander precon of urza this is going to be my double sleeved urza deck because i just don't feel like unsleeving it at this point everything that we used in this video perfect hard sleeves by kmc these are the thick inner sleeves that we used to demonstrate how this deck box works. We also referenced KMC Perfect size sleeves. These are just basic inner sleeves. I swear by these. I love using them with pretty much all the sleeves that I used. We also used Dragon Shield. Shout out to our sponsor, Dragon Shield. Those are the sleeves that you see sleeved up in our deck here. And then also the sleeves that we used inside this. But mainly, big shout out to Gamegenic who sent us the Bastion XL. This is a really, really fun product. You can see our entire deck is sleeved up here and you can see how it works. Really, really nice. I like how this looks. Very fun product. You can learn more about it. And uh, yeah, look for the Gamegenic link in the description of the video. Thank you again to Gamegenic. If you're looking for a fun deck box for the holidays, maybe check out the Bastion XL. If you're looking for a deck box that's just like got a lot of extra room, Maybe you're like, you know what? I'm just going to use it for normal double sleeved cards. And I like having some extra room, maybe for a pre-release, something like that. Maybe you're going to the Lost Caverns of Ixal on pre-release this weekend. I hope you have fun. I'm Jake with Jake and Joel Magic. Until next time, smell you later. I don't know why I said smell you later, but you know what? We're just going to commit to it. I don't care.